guys, it's Chantal here with another thought and today's thought is entitled Just Start. So for those who know me personally, they would know that I'm a brand developer and marketer and I've helped over 80 businesses to launch successfully online. And what I love y'all about what I do and the people that I work with is that they are all starters slash trendsetters slash entrepreneurs and they all motivate and inspire me to keep starting things and most importantly, finish them. So today I just wanted to hop on for a quick few minutes just to encourage someone if you have like vision and ideas and you're not certain if you should start or not or take that leap. I'm just tuning in today to encourage you all to start. So enjoy. Well y'all, starting anything can be a bit difficult. Trust me, I know in the past before I started anything, I would always go through a little journey or season of questioning myself, maybe having a little fear of the unknown. And there are a plethora of reasons why people are afraid to start. And you know, I think all of us go through that season every now and then, but the key y'all is to not give in to fear, but to push back whenever fear tries to rear its ugly head, just push back each and every time. But I just want to encourage you all today to do not allow those elements to prevent you from being obedient to God. I think a major misconception that people have about life is that they think they were sent on earth to fulfill their personal agenda. I know, crazy, life is not all about us. I know who would have thought. But God actually sent us here on earth to fulfill a purpose. And the gifts, the talents, the ideas, and the vision that he gives us is not only to benefit us, but to benefit the people that we were called to impact. So today I'll just be referencing to the parable of the three talents. For those who read the Bible, it was basically about a master who had three servants and he gave one ten, one five, and one one. And the one with the ten and the five made a return on their investment and the one with the one buried it. Y'all. Today I'm focusing on the one with the one talent. You know, the one who hide the gifts, you know, the person, the people who um, have a bit of difficulty starting things. So the one with the one talent, I imagine he maybe encountered fear, maybe doubt, and he may have been unwilling, y'all, to put in the work. And I feel like a lot of people who have the ideas and visions who don't start may fall under one of these categories. They may be fearful of whether the idea may be successful or not. They may doubt themselves or even the idea. And then some people are just too busy to put in the work. And I just want to encourage y'all to not let these three things be a stumbling block to the blessing that God has in store for you. Well, you all, starting is literally for the bold and the courageous. So if you started something, tap yourself on the back, y'all, because it takes courage to start something new. So if we reference back to the parable of the talents, you would see that and the people who the two people who put in the work they re- received a return from god and the one who did it y'all he not only lost what could have been his the blessing and the reward but he also lost his time y'all so it actually if you allow fear doubt or even the work to prevent you from being obedient to god you are literally losing much more than the things that you're trying to hold on to and you don't want that position right so i just wanted to share a story like for me before i started and i hope this will help you all to just take that leap i remember in the past when i was stuck at this job that i hated a lot i hated it deeply yes (laughs) but i remember y'all um i felt stuck i was applying to jobs all over the place and i was just not getting any results i wasn't getting any interviews any callbacks and i was like frustrated because i knew y'all that i had so much potential within me but my environment didn't look like what was within me and that really frustrated me i remember just speaking to god asking him god this cannot be the life that you have planned for me you know i know you're a progressive god and i want to progress with you but right now it looks like everything that i am doing is just not working help me out so god He gave me a seed of an idea to quit my job and start my own business, right? But the only thing, y'all, the only obstacle with that was that I didn't have any known talents that I was aware of. And I didn't have the idea of what kind of business to start. He just gave me that seed and told me to run with it. And I was like, God, that is crazy. You want me to quit this job and then not be able to financially sustain myself Mm -mm. doesn't sound like a good idea but y'all because (laughs) i am just bold like i'm so bold i just i was obedient my desire was to just please god and if he say jump i'm a jump (laughs) and that's just how how it is so i did that and then once i did that y'all everything fell into place i 
discover that I'm a good web developer and a great designer and then <clears throat> I started my business probably a month later and then now I'm here four years later <laughs> still doing the same thing but at a higher level so I'm not you know sharing this story to tell you to quit your job I'm just here to tell you to be obedient <laughs> to whatever God tells you to do but this is just an example of God will just give you a seed and then he will expect you to do what you need to do in order to grow that seed so the the things that you had have within you your ideas your vision and things like that was given to you with the intention to bring glories to God's name because if you look at it y'all the gift that I end up discovering was that it not only helped me but it helped the people that I help in business to also grow their business as well so it doesn't only benefit me but it also benefit them you also the seeds the ideas y'all that you have i just want to encourage you all today to have faith and just start at the end of the day if god gave you those desires it's his responsibility to make sure that his purpose is fulfilled through the vision and the ideas that he has given you and then um you just need to be obedient you know so y'all if you are have something that you're considering starting with, it's a book, the uh, business, just remember that these things are tied to a solution and it's to bring glory to God's name and do not allow anything, y'all, to prevent you from pleasing God above all, y'all. So I'm just going to give you a few steps. Once you have a, a, an idea or a vision, here are a few steps. When God gives you a seed or an idea, y'all, accept it, <laughs> meaning believe in the ideas and the vision that he gives you once you accept it and say okay you know i am not my own <laughs> these ideas and visions belong to me and god gave them to me once you accept them y'all see god for instructions on what to do next and once you get those instructions y'all obey y'all and then once you are obedient y'all just keep working at it you know some greatness doesn't just happen we don't stumble into greatness it takes intentional work so we have to put in the work in order to see it become what we would like it to become and then at the end of the day y'all you will be benefited the people you were called to be benefited and most importantly god will get the glory out of it so hope this helps someone or encourage someone to start on that idea that you've been um talking with and then um if you enjoy this content please just like subscribe share with a friend y'all and i hope you all have a wonderful week you know stay safe stay healthy and tune in again on friday for a dish if you are a pescatarian okay all right, well, you enjoy your day. Bye.